Welcome back to Blackhead Diaries. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a braided um, flower cornrow <laughs> design and a butterfly box braid also. I apologize, I didn't include how to section up the whole head into this box braids where you now have your designs inside. But if you want to watch that, I'm going to link a video of that in the description bar because I uploaded it previously so to make this flower design it has like three petals I sectioned the hair into three places two at the top and one at the bottom then each of those separate boxes are sheared into two I set it from the lower one I sheared it into two and braided that petal in that box now I am on the top left hand box I sheared it into two braided upwards and turned around ended the braid here now i am going to braid the third petal but without like continuing from where this one stopped this is going to be on its own so i start braiding go up and around and back to the middle of the flower when i get there i finished up by making the butterfly jungle braid design on the rest of the box braid just as you can see on the ones I have done I didn't just braid it straight down I added the butterfly jungle butterfly effect to the braid just to make it more dramatic <laughs> as if it wasn't interesting you know well you know we went all out for the hairstyle and it came out lovely so now I am going to join this the braid from this petal to the other braid from the other petals and complete the braid into a box braid remember I added a butterfly effect to it don't worry you're going to see the butterfly braid how it is done on another braid I don't want to waste time on this so I showed it fully on just one braid when I was done and because my client needed me to pack her hair into a bun that's the only way she liked to rock her hair she doesn't like her hair touching her body and I know that one of the petals is independent so it's going to stand on its own somehow so I used needle and thread and tacked it together so that the flower would be like collected in the middle so that when I go to raise it up instead of you seeing the bottom like you see if I raise that up the box braid will be detached from the flower from one of the petals so tacking it down is going to make sure it is like starting from the center of the flower and that made it more pretty and it made more sense that way so I completed that and now okay I did that for the three of them then I proceeded to make the butterfly design and now for the butterfly section I have the box that I want the head to be inside so i just make sure it is neat and defined i share into four straight from the top and straight from the middle into four boxes now on the two box on the two top boxes i am going to proceed to make antennas on both of them just like this this is the one on the right hand and then the one on the left hand after that i will proceed to make the petals using an infinity shape as you're going to see so i would braid the petal on the top left hand corner into the petal of the bottom right hand corner so now i am sectioning off that part i have sheared the box on the bottom left into two here just like this and the one on the top right into two now i am starting from the inner side of the butterfly from his stomach area i would braid down and around go back up towards the middle then 
once i get into the other section i will enter from the alternating side so if my braid is coming out from the left hand side of the bottom box i will go in from the right hand side of the top box you get what i mean and remember i am braiding the alternating boxes together and this one too so share into two both the box at the top opposite and the box at the bottom then braid from the inner tummy side down and around once you are done with that box when crossing over to the top box you go to the alternating side so from here i am coming out from the left hand side i will switch and move into the top box from the right hand side then braid up and around back to the tummy again i apologize if you feel uncomfortable with the tightness of the hair that was as requested as requested several times i needed to make the hair tight she wanted the hair as just tight so that was it but i feel her edges will be fine so now i am going to braid and pull out the butterfly way while still adding her extension if i need to so I braid 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 pull one two three pull one two three pull one two three pull like that until I get to where the braid has thinned out too much and then I will just braid a regular braid through the rest of the hair now people are still going to keep asking me do you dip everything in hot water do you despite me explaining in all the videos i have made before i only dip the part that it doesn't have the butterfly braid in hot water that's the lower part of the braid here you can see where the design stopped that's the only part that needs to be dipped in hot water now we are going to make one more butterfly at the top of the head here so that you can understand for sure share that box into four on the two top boxes you make the antennas then braid the alternating side let's say box one and three and box two and four you braid the petals that way so i'm just going to let you finish watching because i believe after explaining that first time you can get the gist by yourself now please remember to leave a thumbs up and share with your friends or anyone who will be interested in making this hair if your hairstylist doesn't know about it yet it has stayed trending for a while now you can just send it to him or her him or her to her or him to her okay let me let you continue watching
Thank you.